Hi, I'm Cameron G. I'm a PhD candidate in Chris West's lab at the University of British Columbia and the International Collaboration on Repair Discoveries. Hi, and uh, I'm Chris West. I'm a principal investigator here at the International Collaboration on Repair Discoveries and an assistant professor at the University of British Columbia. This study investigated the effects of respiratory muscle training on cardiopulmonary function and exercise capacity in athletes with cervical spinal cord injury. To do this, we implemented a six-week combined inspiratory and expiratory pressure threshold respiratory muscle training intervention in six elite wheelchair rugby athletes with tetraplegia, followed by six weeks of no respiratory muscle training. While previous studies have focused specifically on inspiratory training, the novelty of this study was the addition of expiratory muscle training. Before and after the intervention, as well as following six weeks of no training, we assessed respiratory muscle strength, resting pulmonary and cardiac function, and exercise capacity. As expected, both inspiratory and expiratory muscle strength improved with training. However, there were no changes in resting lung volumes or cardiac function. We observed an increase in peak exercise work rate, and all athletes had an increase in peak oxygen consumption following training. Finally, at baseline, we observed dynamic hyperinflation, a phenomenon in which increasing exercise intensity is accompanied by increases in the volume of air in the lungs at the end of a breath out, which is associated with breathlessness in exercise intolerance in able-bodied individuals and likely has negative effects on left ventricular filling and output. However, following respiratory muscle training, this rise in end expiratory lung volume was attenuated. Following six weeks of no respiratory muscle training, all indices that we observed changes in return towards pre-training levels. Our future work on hard lung interactions following cervical spinal cord injury aims to determine the mechanisms for our observations, in particular examining the role of the respiratory muscle pump in this population and to examine further interventions to optimise these interactions to enhance exercise capacity.